all right. I don't know. I never know. I never know when we're actually streaming. And you know what? I didn't do any of my, my test amounts. Ooh. Uh, let's do new canvas. Sure. I feel like it hasn't asked me those specific questions before. Um, yeah, we're streaming, I think. Ted Riccio, I, I already already yacked with y'alls in uh, the chat rooney So, uh, welcome aboard to more drawing. Uh, I've really enjoyed doing this. More so, and I'm thinking about the, the stream uh, last week compared to the week before um i like i like sketching more than like or at least on a stream i think sketching is more fun than like sitting here trying to learn how to color <laughs> so i'm gonna focus a little more on sketching tonight and uh um like i said on the the social media shits I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw some D and D characters, uh, specifically the the party that I DM for, and uh, this here, my source material here is Ruckus, which is the inspiration for Jess's character Max Romance, and he's been a real cut up, uh, a real character, and uh, the whole the whole crew has been super cool though, and and really uh, just playing D and D with. Jess and her family has been an extremely cool experience and I recommend it to anybody if you if you ever have the opportunity. I'm gonna get a, a spoon real quick though for my tea. Uh, so yeah, I hope everybody's been having a, uh, a groovy week. Mine's been whatever. <laughs> it's been fine. Get this bad boy going. Doing my peppermint tea. That is my favorite one. And it's not, it's not like caffeinated, so it won't keep me up until butt o'clock in the morning. Oh yeah, Riccio just had a birthday. Happy, uh, happy belated, my man. Ted, thanks for stopping in, but I and I think I've said this before. Do not preempt plans for this. Like, I mean, I'm very honored, but if you've got cool shit like the new Halloween movie, uh, no. No, uh, what's the word? I won't take it personal. Because, like, life happens. Okay, we got it upside down. There we go. All right. All righty, Rooney. There we go. Come on. Come on. Okay. Let's do pencil. I, re I do really love my mechanical pencil. That is for sure. And then yeah, let's draw. Let's draw a little ruckus. Uh, so ruckus doesn't, or we're not drawing ruckus. We're drawing Max Romance, who looks sort of like ruckus. But um, I verified with Jess. He uh, he has recently acquired hypercolor frilly armor, and so that'll be fun to try and visualize. I'm imagining I'm imagining lots of like rainbow colored fur. <laughs> Because uh, prior to delving into the dungeon they're in right now, they met up with an eccentric armorer who had all kinds of wacky options for them, like style armor, and uh, and of course Max gravitated towards that. Riccio, your red velvet cake's in the mail. Uh, <laughs> so you should be getting that ASAP, and I'm sure... I'm sure our uh, our good U.S. Postal Service is treating it with care. Actually, I need to. I want to get some other notes. Hey, Jess, are you still up? Because I think Max also has an eye patch. Hey, girl. Does 
it on your sheet? Yeah, I wrote it on my other sheet. Oh, cool. Um, it says, uh, "Welcome to Mystery Dungeon." Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, he has a ruby earring. A ruby earring. A jewel eye patch. A jeweled eye patch. Uh, Left or right side on the, the eye patch? patch? Yeah. The opposite of whatever you put, put the earring. Because Max knows how to accessorize. Right. He also has a... Um... A I'm, beaver pelt hat, but I think he only wears that when he's being... He kind of phased that out, right? Yeah. That was more of an early on thing. With I the, think he's with the got a ring. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, there's plenty of rings. Frilly hypercolor armor. A uh, glass staff of defense. Yep, yep. He, he, I remember he got the glass staff. Actually, I should, I should write this down. Glass staff. Yep. <laughs> you guys all had a field day with that guy. I patch. Ruby earring. One malachit gem. Uh, I think it's Malachite. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Not like it is anything. <laughs> Fake signet ring. So, yeah, I've got oh, like, yeah. a false identity, a royal and I, I kind of, am, you know, I think I kind of imagine him practically, like, clanking and clattering. He's got so much, like, costume jewelry. Yeah. Right? But also, he's a rogue and he's sneaky, so. Yeah. He's not really clanking. Oh, sure. I, right. Right. So no bangles. No big bangles no. for him. But just lots of rings and things. He's a good... He must be a really good rogue then, because if he is dressed That's so flashy, flashy yeah. but can still pull that shit off, he's real He's real smooth then. Oh, uh, yeah. He's very smooth. Max rules. I love... I, I mean, I, I love all of our characters, but... I love Max. Max is... Max is bitchin'. Don't forget his blasted heart of gold. Ooh, I won't. I shan't. You uh you mailed Riccio his red velvet cake, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Cool. It's He's... it's in the mail. Right, that's what I was saying. And and I mean the the US Postal Service is famous for uh eating you know... it when it gets to the post office. <laughs> I know. I was t- I was taking a different path with that, but I like where you took it. <laughs> oh, is he is Max a a half elf? Yes, half elf half Well, half elf is right. Yeah. Any it's interesting. In D&D, whenever a race is called half something, it's just implied that the other half is human. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Except halfling. Those are just hobbits. Okay. <laughs> but I guess it's like they're half the size of a dude. So. But like, yeah, half orc and half elf are both. The other half is human in both of those equations. Since, since he's a, an archaic trickster, mm-hmm. when he's being magical... He sounds and does a lot of the same motions as the Green Goblin in Spider-Man 1. <laughs> Good. Sweet. He does. Yeah, I think you've even done that while impressive. we've been playing. <laughs> well, he hasn't said, he hasn't said impressive. Not yet. But like the sleep thing, he yeah. definitely, d- man. And he does a lot of like, oh yeah, this weird hand. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Lots of just constant flourishing. Max is great. Max is great. You can I, draw with two swords. He's really good with two swords. He is. He's a two. Well, he's really good at, and this is purely from the dice. He's really good. He's a two. You know, he's a two weapon fighter because he's a. You know, he's got. Fin, you know, they're they're really good. They're short swords. swords. Yeah, yeah. But more often than not, the first roll fucks up, and then the second roll hits. Like it and kills so, the guy. Right, and so in in the fiction, it's become. That, like, you, the, Max's goof up with the one is, like, the distraction, like a Three Stooges kind of thing. Yeah. And then while the, the, the bad guy is laughing at that fuck up with the sword, then he's like, oh, and, yeah. and gets him in the ribs. Yep. It's really cool. d and the best. Everyone should play D&D. Even if you don't think you would like it, you should try it. All right. Let's get some, let's get some shapes going. It's been a minute since I draw. I've only, I, I've only really been drawing here on the stream, so... And it's it is weird drawing with these tools versus looking at you know a pen and paper. It's you, yes, that is the best line, Riccio. It's you who's out, Gavi. Out of their mind. Yeah, there we go. 
I fucking yeah. love that line so much. You guys are really making me want to watch Spider Man One. You know, for what it was. It's fine, it's yeah. Fine and fun. Well, now it's. I mean, now it's nostalgic. Right. Totally. It's you who's out, Gabby. What a great. Oh God. What a great line. And how great to have a, a 40-year-old play Peter Parker <laughs> inspired casting. Let's zoom in. Why am I zoomed out like a ding dong? Might as well zoom on in on that melon. Let's, let's see if I can do Max justice. I might be biting off more than I can chew drawing this handsome devil but these are just my these are just my little practice lines just getting a start because what i'll do instead of trying to color it in after i get these kind of jankety practice lines down i'll do a layer excuse me i'll do a layer on top where i refine my lines pink hair jess Cool. I mean, ostentatious does seem to be the name of the game with this dude. I liked Spider-Man too. I thought I I liked I liked two a little better than one. In some ways, yeah. I mean, Doc Ock was cool. Um, they did a really good job with Doc Ock. What else was in that one that was really cool? What's that? Something else was in that one that was really cool. Um. Uh, <laughs> well, it's not when he became Goth Peter Parker and that three. I know. I kind of want, man, I kind of want to watch three, though. Oh, three is bad. Three is extremely bad. Because it's, like, weirdly abusive. Oh, yeah. Ted, give me a, give me a, an elevator pitch for a specter tale. Just, just based on the name, I am already on board, because ghosts. But, uh, yeah, give me that pooch. Ruckus is a rascal. What was the name of the group, the X Men group he's a part of? Boys. The Nasty Boys, and they just like steal cases of beer and yep. shit, right? Yeah, one of them. They're just dirt bags, straight up. Accidentally ran a guy over when he was trying to steal beer. I love it. It's so good. Yeah, Max is certainly. And they're part of Mister Sinister's boys. They're they're his Nasty Boys. Of course they are. It's just such a good name. Paranormal TV show host finds homicidal ghost in Nebraska town. Weird shit happens. It sounds rad. I'm into that. Amazing Spider-Man 2. Yeah, we, we, it's funny, I had to remind you that we watched it. What? The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Oh, yeah, with Jamie Foxx, right? Yeah. I, I'm not even Because we watched it. 
Yeah, oh no, no, because it's I don't think it's possible to watch the whole thing. Puppy adventure music. It was it was real and the bummer Andrew part Garfield's fine. It, I was just gonna say that was that was the biggest bummer to me about it was that like I liked Andrew Garfield just fine yeah. as Peter Parker and and uh Joseph Spitterman. But uh But everything else was not great. It's the puppy adventure music that really gets me. Oh, yeah. Same with the music in the X-Men, the, X, the X-Men movies. It sounds like The Incredibles. It sounds like The Incredibles, except The Incredibles makes it work. Yep. Somehow. What do you think? Do you think Max has a little bit of a butt chin? Maybe a little bit. Because Ruckus does. Ruckus does. I'm giving him that that slightly pointed half elf ear. Ooh, and since we see this ear, this will be the earring ear. And then this eye will be the gemmed oh. up the gemmed up eye patch eye. Ooh, and that it actually goes right into his part. We gotta watch this. Uh, Haunting of Hill House. Haunting of Hill House, yep. We keep hearing a ton about it, and it sounds Everywhere. super awesome. And what was the other one, White as a Feather? Well, I, and, and I, I think people are, are not, as, they're not liking that one as much. They're right. It's more like, like, this is a thing. Also. Mm. Oh, okay. Maybe it's like a silly thing, but I'd try it. Yeah, I would too. Oh, yeah, it does kind of look like hair. Uh, we haven't gotten to the hair yet, though. These beautiful, beautiful flowing locks. So we'll get into there. Get into that part. God, yeah, look how fucking awesome Ruckus' hair is. I hope I can I can come close to doing that justice. <laughs> and just <laughs> collars on collars on collars i'm probably just gonna i'm for now i think i'm just gonna draw his outfit there but for for max's actual armor i was imagining rainbow fur oh no no Not rainbow fur um it is... i mean like highlights okay but what are you imagining because your character um i was picturing like those shoulder Things. Like the Captain Crunch things? Yeah. Cool. And, uh, yes, many, many colors, but more like scarves as opposed to fur. <laughs> He's a scarfman? Oh, God, that's awesome. So I should pull up uh, Lenny Kravitz for, yeah. uh, yep. for inspiration. Do you know which exact picture I'm thinking of? Oh, yes. I know exactly what picture you're thinking of. And this that's is... the one. <laughs> this is probably that's not... the Photoshopped one, I think. This is the joke one? Because that's so. the real one that's there, the right? the real one. The real one's not that much crazier. No, the real one looks Photoshopped. It does. This is not what you have in mind, though, right? No. You're thinking, you're thinking almost more like a... Scarves. Lots of okay. little scarves. Like almost like Steve. Tyler. I was gonna say Steven Tyler is kind of the the order of the day I think with that didn't want that little dot no thank you let's move this back around really gotta soak up all the all the ruckus we can get <laughs> don't fuck us with the ruckus do you think he ever said that the nasty boy so probably that is it is a very nasty boy kind of thing to say you get this nice big collar that'll help me define some of his biz Oh, 
I love his big, he's got nice big square shoulders, but I think Max is a bit of a, as a bit of a, a rascally lad, maybe isn't so quite as broad shouldered. Yeah, that's what as the Max. that's what the shoulder pads are for. Mm-hmm. To kind of help him. Where's my folder? I don't know. I don't know what this is. Hot dog folder is where all my D and D stuff goes. Very good. Yep. Thank I you, baby. Go, I have to go to bed. I know I'm it's. Tired. I know you're you're a tired gal. Oh, Love everyone you. saw my bonnet. Yep. Yep. Just wears a fun business bonnet to bed. Yeah. Keeps my hair in place. Yep. Well, because you got those beautiful flowing locks like Ruckus. Well, I'm just adapting to my character. You're just becoming him. Becoming him. I love the sound of that, baby. I love you. I love you. Thanks for, uh, thanks for hanging out and, yeah. uh, and, and helping me make sure I get our boy Max just right. Oh, thanks for drawing him. Good night, I'm Internet. very excited. Ricky-o, Ricky-o. Happy birthday, Ricky-o. Happy birthday, Ricky-o. I told him that, Yesterday, too. Yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Good yep. night. Good night, Shining Boy. Good night, Jess. Thanks for stopping in. Thank you. Thank you. Hobbs and Minya are doing great. As per usual. A couple of good, good boys. Excellent lads. Hobbs has been on steroids for a little bit, which sounds like a joke, but it's a real thing. Um, because he had a he had like a weird cough going that was uh, distressing to us. We were worried about our fat little angel, and uh, he's doing fine now. Though as soon as as soon as he. Even before he took it, his thing cleared up, of course. Like, so after Jess took him to the vet, he got better, um, which is good. You know, I'm not, I'm not complaining about that, but, um, you know, they did prescribe him these steroids. So he is doing that. This hair is so fucking fun to draw. It is out of control. Um, beautiful flowing locks um need more need more puff there we go um but yeah he's doing good now though he is getting a little fussy about actually taking the steroids because at first they had us um they had us give him the steroids in a little snack thing and and at first he was really into it and gobbling that shit up but then he kind of got wise to it and uh was less of a gobbler so it's, it's become a little more of a struggle to get him to take them other than that it is all good though Max is, Max is coming together. <laughs> Those helpful roids. I will soon be able to do that predator hand. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Ray Hobbs, son of a bitch. He's right here. He's just off screen. Nasty boy. I did not see, I did not see the Destroy All Monsters pick. I'll have to check that out. Um, I haven't been, I haven't been on... On, uh, on the old Tumblr as much as I like to be. Have to get in there and check it out. All right. So we can zoom out. See, and this is where this is where it'll start to get tough when I when I try to draw his whole bod, though. He is kind of striking this bodacious pose. Oh, he does have that little. What is it? I can't remember what this thing is called. The Greeks had a really fun name for it. 
and you say it's like the love organ which sounds so much weirder <laughs> um yeah all right we got a bit of a we got a bit of a max romance here kind of giving some extra flair there He's got this, he's rocking this fun little pose. I guess what I can do is just start drawing his torso and then kind of fill it in later. He's not, he's not particularly jacked. He's not a scrawny boy either though. We'll kind of do it Venus de Milo style. We'll, we'll, his arm socket is approximately there. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Bring these down. I do love this fucking pose he's rocking. See if I can see if I can capture that sweet, sweet body language. I tried to since he's half elf, or since he's a half elf, I tried to give him because like he's got kind of this blocky, almost squared off face, and so I tried to give Max more of a elongated elfin face. <sighs> Minnie appears to be humping King Ghidorah's corpse as Gorosaurus looks out in horror. That's amazing. <sighs> The dark side of Minya. The very, very dark side of Minya. There we go. Inch that in. I want to get... Yeah, there we go. I want to get that shoulder. So, we kind of do stick arms just to... No, that arm is pretty much straight down. And it pops up ends here with the hand oh, this this pad is not conducive for these long long lines actually I could zoom out that would maybe probably don't need to zoom out infinitely like that get on up Yeah. There's that one. His fingers are kind of just doing this thing. But then this arm. Go out more. Also. Come on, come on, tiny tablet. Look, it's this big. It's a little big. So it's hard to do these big, big lines. Oh, hands are so hard. Hands are like the hardest thing to draw. But I'll start with these. I'll start with these goofy blocks first, and then I'll start slapping fingers and shit on them. Yeah, yeah, Min Minnie's got a dark side. Perhaps the darkest side. All right, let's take this one arm at a time. Actually, I'm going to probably start with this. I love his gloves, too. That seems very... Max certainly has big gloves, I'm sure maybe even fingerless gloves definitely see that being the case
Oh, God. That line was out of hand. <laughs> Get it? Because I'm drawing an arm. Okay. Let's see. Just realized I started sticking my tongue out. <laughs> Something like that. A little something like that. Geez, the hand even, or the that weird box I started doing almost gives me the, the glove action. That's kind of cool. Kind of a nice accident. Ooh, what do you have to clean up after one of your residents, Riccio? Did they poop on theyself? Because yuck. That sounds horrible. <laughs> do you like how I just jumped to that is what is happening? I did not even give you a moment to answer and just was like, ah, yep, that sucks. Sorry, you got to clean up poop, my man. Fingers and hands. So we got three, four. Yeah, we're gonna have to maybe morph this into one. And then there we go, like that. Sure. So kind of got a knuckle zone there. No, they didn't really do that though. Not on not on the original, not on the source drawing. So maybe I won't either. If they don't need to do it, I don't need to do it. What was I doing here? <laughs> we'll, we'll redo that hand box I think when I get to it hang on this is bugging me there we go we gotta get across that there's an eye patch there the eye patch is purely cosmetic, by the way. Max does not need it. It's got a big gem in it, which I'm gonna draw at another time. It's kind of fun to just practice this stuff. Hair dye. Gross. I mean, not gross. Why can't your resident clean up the hair dye? Like, I know they're college kids, but their arms and legs work, don't they? <laughs> that seems buck wild to yours truly. But yeah, there are definitely, especially in a dorm, there are many, many worse things you could be cleaning up, so. Yeah, I hate this dumb box hand I made. I don't know what the hell I was doing there. It worked really nice on the other one, but this one is just garbage. Hands kind of got like a, or cartoon hands have like a little butt there. Real life hands I don't think really have that so much, but it is a nice like shorthand. <laughs> shorthand. <laughs> I think my eyebrows are a little too evil here. I don't want to arch the one more and smooth the other out. I don't know. That's detail stuff. See, I get bogged down in detail stuff too early. Ooh, 
<laughs> Fingers are difficult. Hands are difficult. Everything is hard. <laughs> this little wiener finger. No, thank you, sir. It does have to have lithe hands for all that pickpocketing and, and sneak thievery he does though and you know he's got lots of rings yeah that's pretty much a that's a start for Max it is it's so weird drawing on on this tabarino instead of on uh, instead of on good old paper I definitely have more control on paper but this isn't that far off from like I'm not gonna lie. I, I this is this is closer to how I normally do. Oh yeah, and so and so Jess was talking about I don't know what those things are called. I'm just gonna draw some rough ones, but yeah, he's got the big the big Captain Crunch things on the shoulders. And this is just, I didn't pull up any reference or anything, but whatever the hell those things are called. Just to kind of get the shape. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah, Max is a fa is like a phony noble. And so he's got all this fake shit. That's pretty fun. <laughs> At first you don't succeed, give up! One of the root. Oh wait, hang on. Yeah, I wanna. I wanna find out about hair dye apocalypse. Because we have to submit a maintenance report. One of their roommates did it while the other was away, and they're thinking of revising the roommate agreement and everything. Yeah, that makes sense. Sucking at something is the first step to being awesome at something. That is very, very true. Very, very true. Yeah, I like this. I like this as a starting point for old, old Maxwell. I do want to try, I do also want to try it on, on like pencil and paper though too. I think ultimately what I'll end up doing is, is sketching on pencil and paper and then importing it into this program and then doing, and then fucking around with color and, and shadow and stuff. I think that'll be, I think that'll be the way to go ultimately, but still. It's fun. Uh, so that's Max Romance. I'm going to save him for now. Just because I save all these little stinkers. Yeah, we'll just save it in there. That's fine. Shave. Cool beans. We'll close it. And... The next character that I have like a strong idea of what they look like is Jess's niece plays a dragonborn druid who is kind of scrawny for a dragon. Usually dragon in D and D dragonborns are like dragon esque humanoids who are usually like big and bulky. Um, but uh, her character Udo is kind of a scrawny little wiener as far as as far as dragonborns go and this this little guy this which and i played I've, I've played this game on the stream a couple times but yuka of ukulele is kind of who i picture kind of sorta um when we play D, &D. so i'm gonna kind of just use him as a little bit of inspiration sans the bat <laughs> For though, I mean, as a druid, who knows? Maybe eventually she'll have a bat familiar. Uh, that would be cool. That would be cool. All right, let's try to smush this window down. I did it before. There we go. There we go. Hello. I like I like moving stuff around and getting a little peek. 
or whoever's back there. So yeah, this is just, I guess, much, much looser. Uh, much like Max Romance practically is Ruckus. This is more of just my interpretation of this character. Basically, the roommates will come by and say, hey, this guy's being a fucking idiot. Can we revise our agreement so that we're on the same page? Like, no fucking hair dye in the bathrooms from now on. Yeah. Get them nugs, son. Yeah, don't forget. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you guys are still staying on your nug game. They out there. All right. So let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm mining their character sheets for uh, Derta. Derta. Chain armor. Which, I, I mean, I'm glad they... I'm, I'm kind of glad they revoked that. In, in older versions of D&D, &D, a, uh, a druid could not have... Could not wear any metal stuff or use any metal stuff. And I get the intent behind that, but I'm glad they didn't keep it. Got something stuck in my teefers. There we go. Okay. All right. Yeah, she doesn't have. She doesn't have as much uh, style notes as Jess does on on her character sheet. Oh, mimics, man! I can't wait to throw a mimic at these fuckers because those are in D and D. That shit would be hilarious. So this is gonna be a little more off the dome, but I am gonna channel her character's personality. Okay. Yeah, and so since she's reptilian. She kind of has a whole different. No, oh, no, no, no! I hate it. <laughs> she has a whole different uh, kind of skull shape. There we go. Character is actually a he. Uh, it's funny, Jess and Jess and and her niece both. Uh, play dudes. Yeah, this is all. This is all face. I'm gonna have to shrink this down because holy shit, I want huge on the old Domerino. That's okay. I've got uh, I've got tools I can use. Nope, that's a sad eyebrow. <laughs> Do not want that sad, sad eyebrow. So yeah, this so Udo is is childlike and upbeat and was uh, literally raised by wolves in the woods, which is weird because he's a uh, he's a little dragony fella, but that's why he's a that's why he's a druid. And so he's kind of awkward and sweet. not quite as worldly say as like a character like max for instance there we go give him a little more d 
definition. Excuse me while I shit my pants with the music choices during the stream. Hang on, wait. I don't, I'm not playing any music. <laughs> Whoops. I did not see the Connors. I, I have not been, uh, not been up to speed with that. I didn't see your Shaun of the Dead door, Riccio. Let me take a look. That fucking, was that Monster House that you did? That was nuts. Uh, Riccio has been sharing his uh, door decor art on uh, on the Discord channel. Yeah, the last yeah, Riccio, the last one I see is the is the spooky monster house, which looked fucking awesome. Playing Under the Skin OST until I pussied out and now decided to play Ghost Town by the Specials. That's a great one. Shaun of the Dead has a fantastic soundtrack. I am a big fan, especially of that song in particular. I kind of want to give him like a weird iguana neck flappy kind of thing just a little bit though yeah he's kind of a sweet nerd i kind of want him to have like sticks and branches and shit since he's such a crunchy granola e lad and I'm a big fan of you know the Greek mythology thing and so it's kind of like a laurel wreath by accident because I kind of we had a uh, we had a barbarian in our party who was an elf barbarian. I thought that was interesting. So he was shunned by his his elf clan, and uh, we had a lot of fun leaning into just that he smelled bad and was like he was feral. He's like a feral elf, and uh, I always kind of imagined him and Udo here kind of getting along because they're both kind of just like like lovably dirty forest weirdos. <laughs> We're just like, haha, whatever. This is fine, right? Sticks and bugs and mud and stuff, right? And I kind of liked that as a dynamic for them. But the guy playing our our elf barbarian uh, had to move to India for work. So, yeah, can't really play D&D anymore. It happens, though. You know, <laughs> sometimes you just got to move to India for work. Yeah, he's, he's sort of like a happy brontosaurus. So, actually speaking of drawing, let's 
Link? I don't know. Expansion width. I don't want to expand, I want to shrink. Cancel. Yes! The future is now! But now I don't know how to get rid of that fucking thing ever. Yes. Okay. See, but how do I get rid of... Ah, now we run into this. Unless... This is a ghetto... So oh, there we go. Okay. That'll work. Hell yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, I do need to reposition him, though. I want to center him up. No, no. Not like this. Like to move it, move it. Nope. <laughs> no. Okay. So it's got to be one of these. Expand. Sh oh, shrink. Clear. Clear outside. Scale up, scale down. Fill. New tone. How do I just grab it and move it around? <laughs> Selection launcher settings, new tone, fill. Huh. And rotate. Move layer. There we go. Hell yeah. And then if I do this again. Yes! I'm learning things. <laughs> Dravas D. Ricky, I'm so psyched you are celebrating Halloween. It is so choice. It is the choicest. Um oh I just I just realized what his Oops. Just realized what I'm gonna kind of pose him doing. Cause he's a dork. He'll be waving furiously. Oops, not ripped though. Gotta make sure he's not fucking jacked. I think he's getting a little too humanoid. Give him, we'll give him weird claws so he's not quite so human. And we'll start putting clothes on him too because he looks like a weird nudist. Just give him. Three claws, I like that. <laughs> I gotta I gotta scrawny him up. It's looking looking like a weird dino faced Greek god. Hall Halloween is my A number one. It, uh, it is the shit. Uh, and then Christmas is a, man, Christmas used to be a close second, but, um, I don't know, man. It's like a big hassle. I know in game, 
Um, he's got like chain armor, but it seems more accurate to his character if it if it was weird like tattered bullshit clothes and maybe there's like chain armor underneath <laughs> but he likes the he likes his tattered bullshit clothes still I kind of like that idea Because again, he's like a weird forest bum. Give him the big that thing. Well, we gotta hold it closed. does have two arms I guess he would be just the tiniest bit swole because he's a weirdo that just eats nuts and berries in the woods all day do a couple more of these <laughs> yeah hi yeah so he's waving and he's a dork he did end up he, he ended up a little too jacked though let's uh let's nerd him up a little i think that 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 thick robust neck Kind of uh, became misleading. As that feels, I don't know. A little, he's got beefy arms. It's it's weird to get the proportions right. It's been a while since I've drawn anything not human, not strictly human. I don't know. That's an idea. Ooh, mouse drawing. Oh, that's not so bad. I do kind of like making his eyes a little bigger. I like that. No, that's too much. But kind of wanted to give him those deep set eyes, like uh, like our twenty fourteen Godzilla had. Christmas has joy, and Thanksgiving has meat. Yeah. So Christmas, Christmas used to be a close second. Now it's a further second, and uh, Fourth of July used to easily be my number three just because it was a summer holiday and I like fireworks, but I don't know. It doesn't feel the same lately, if you get my meaning. Um, yeah. Thanksgiving, though, I've, I've never been that into. And I know that's uh, not the world's most popular opinion. Some people love them some turkey. I, I don't get the turkey hype is really what it is. 
I don't get the hype about turkey. It's like the boringest meat to me. It's so dry. It's such a dry, dry meat. I don't get why it's so radical. I assume he's got a big old fucking tail, too. I don't feel like drawing the legs and stuff right now, but... I do want to draw a tail. Oh fuck it, we can draw some legs. So we got a we got a tail hole for his pants. Oh, probably some kind of strappity belt. I always think of like the the cool gunslinger uh, Han Solo belt. Whenever it comes to draw fantasy belts, that's always the one I go to. I don't know how the fuck we're gonna get around this. And so as a <laughs> yeah, I guess it would just go up and over his tail. Yeah. And then one down around his tail. I don't know. It's a weird belt. Um. But yeah, so he's a druid, so he he would he would need one of those cool '90s comic book character utility belts, where he's got all his all his pouches full of you know magical ingredients and all kinds of neat shit. And I just imagine like bugs. <laughs> and he's a druid, so he doesn't mind. Look at his friends. Yeah, it's kind of coming together. Again, he did. No matter what, he did. He does seem a little too jacked. Cause he's point like Liz. Liz, which is great that the the player. His actual name is Liz, and she's playing this lizard. Um, you know, pointedly said, like, oh, you know, he's like a scrawny little wienery nerd. So I do need to, I do need to de-ripped him a little bit, but I do kind of like it as a start. Gotta have, like, a straight up just pouch. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, cool little forest homeless dragon moister turkey is good when attached to the rest of the body spice it up with salt and brown gravy yeah that's that's true you have to prepare it with a lot of gravy and additives and don't cut it up and throw the bones away like your dad's family did oh yeah druid oh no yeah not that kind of druid he's an okay druid he's a D&D &D druid not a, a Halloween 3 murder druid <laughs> All right, we'll save. We'll save Udo. Bonk. And then, so let's see. The rest of the party. Here, I'll lay it out for you guys. The rest of the party. So we've got a human fighter, who uh, is the the son of a shitmonger. He goes by BS. Um. And he's trying to he's trying to leave his humble roots behind and become like a lord or something. But he's not super smart. He's not a dummy, but he's not like a intellectual. There is Pope, who is a half elf ranger, and her whole shtick is that uh, she specializes in hunting the undead. Um, her parents had uh, her, her parents were nobles, and they had uh, gone missing mysteriously so she's been investigating that and it's her investigation has taken her into uh, uh, crypts and necromancer layers and things like that uh, and then um, there is Sandriel who is a wood elf 
also a ranger and uh also comes from an, from nobility but isn't on the hunt for missing or dead parents she's just bored with noble life and has been slumming it with some adventurers so uh kind of different vibes i was so i was thinking about this today at work because that's what i think about at work and so kind of got an idea for bs i was thinking big and bald um but like armor and then pope and sandriel Pope, I was thinking, since she's been doing a lot of, like, crypt delving, have, like, you know, more of a kind of a spooky look and versus Sandriel, who would have more of a classic elfy ranger kind of look. That's kind of what I was thinking. I might do, I might do BS, though, because he sounds fun. And more in my wheelhouse for the kind of, like, exaggerated faces that I normally draw. Uh, but... I don't particularly have like uh well there is one character I do kind of equate with BS uh, Magnus from the Adventure Zone. But what's in so what's cool about the Adventure Zone is that it was a podcast first, it's not a visual medium, but there's lots of fan art and uh Different interpretations of him can be wildly different. Though there, you do see some some common themes, but uh, it's awesome. I think I'm going to pointedly avoid Magnus, though, because I want BS to be his own character. But I think I'm going to draw BS. And I am, I'm going with bald. I like the idea of him being bald. Oops, not that. Dewey. Here we go. File. New. New canvas. Alright. Let's do this. <laughs> Ricky, are you singing White Lines? By the way? But about turkey? That's amazing. The best part of Thanksgiving dinner, IMO, is the stuffing. Stuffing is my favorite part. No, scratch that. The best part of Thanksgiving dinner is at my folks' house. So the turkey is boring and dry and whatever. But after Thanksgiving dinner, which we have at lunchtime, uh, what my mom does is chops up, a, pulls a bunch of the turkey meat off the bird, cuts it up, and makes just the best, the fucking best turkey sandwiches ever. It's That, to me, is so much tastier then the Thanksgiving dinner itself is the the after dinner turkey sandwiches because they're good and moist. Mm. Like, and I'll be honest, because there's some because there's some mayo on there, and I know mayo is a a dicey <laughs> a dicey condiment. It, it it really inspires some feelings uh, of revulsion in some folks, and it's like, oh, I like. I like mayo on a sandwich. All right, let's do. So since I don't have that clear, clear concept other than, oh yeah, big, strong chin for BS. Just kind of a. I do. I do kind of picture him as just kind of a mountain of a man. Just because he's our our most like typically beefy character. Everybody else is a. We got two rangers and a and a druid and uh, and a rogue. So he's our he's our big he's our big beefy boy. This guy should be jacked. I'm like I'm like Udo who I made accidentally jacked. Look at them titties. <laughs> You're welcome, world. Here we'll kind of there we go. Make them less like bosoms and more like. Pex, I guess. I don't know. Okay. So yeah, that's that's where the arms will go. Is on those. I'm kind of going for not the bodybuilder build, but more like the strong man, kind of beefy build. I 
like how IRL strong people look versus uh, model models and movie stars. So he's uh, he is kind of ending up with the big superhero kind of bod, isn't he? But that is what I said I was going for. How do we do the, the flex? Let's, I think it'd be fun if he was flexing. Something like that. Sure. No, no. I don't, I don't know. I kind of lost the thread on this one. No, oh, well. Just having fun. Eh, I kind of like where it's going. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you were doing the white lines because you were watching Shaun of the Dead. Ball of power, true story. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it does sound like I'm having breathing problems. Yeah, I'm scraping my, they call it a nib, scraping that across this bad boy. Let's zoom in on face. Let's let's get some face time. <laughs> let's not zoom in that much. Zoom in a little bit. So he's a yeah. So the the character's a little dumb. Not a little dumb. He's not intelligent. Actually, I want to get some of these lines out of my way. I haven't really been doing that much. Just because the idea is that I'll come back to these later, maybe. There we go. Oops. Oops. I think there it is. Okay. Cool. Yeah, he's a little more cartoonish with that jawline, huh? That's okay. Let's see. Let's give him... Um... I, do, I do want him to have the big... The big fucking... Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing with that line. The, the big old, the big old uh, Ash Williams, Bruce Campbell, crazy jawline. So we'll get that going. Give him a nice crooked smile. Not an ideal amount of teeth. That feels appropriate also. Give him a little nose. But a busted nose. Because fights. That's right. I'm giving him DreamWorks eyebrow. Don't judge me. Kind of a cauliflower ear. I'm kind of beating the shit out of him, but he so his backstory in addition to you know being the son of a shit farmer uh who who has dreams of nobility he's also done a lot of time fighting uh border wars against uh the orc 
the orc tribes to the north. So like he's he's seen a lot of combat, and for him, combat is putting on some metal and beating the shit out of some orcs with the uh, with the uh, swords and clubs and stuff. So you know he's uh, he's been out there in the shit. So I guess that's why I have him so beat up and wonky looking. Because I feel like he would be. But not not in a grotesque or ghoulish way. But in sort of a... More like in an interesting kind of way. I've seen some shit. I don't know if he's bald. Kind of like that idea though. I like the idea of him having some dents and bruises and shit going on. No, not that line. That makes him look fat. Okay. I know. There we go. I think, uh, huh. I just realized, I think without realizing it, I was channeling. Anybody see heavy metal? It's kind of channeling. Uh, what's, what's that character? Den, Denny. Like the, the the nerdy twelve year old that gets transported to a dimension where he's jacked. I think without realizing it, I was. Uh, yeah, Robert Zadari. True story. He did kind of turn into Robert Zadar. I'm okay with that too. Um. Yeah, God, what was I can't I cannot think of the name of that that skit in heavy metal, but if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. And I think without realizing it, I uh, channeled that a little bit, but that also feels kind of correct. All right, let's get some clothes on this guy because it feels fucking weird to be drawing him buck ass nude. <laughs> beefy lad so let's see let's see what uh let's see what old bs has listed on his character sheet for accoutrement chain mail i don't know how to draw chain mail <laughs> shit we'll just draw some cool shit and call it a day well not call it a day Hmm. Well, now, now I do want to pull up those, those Magnus pictures for some inspiration. Yeah, no, not, uh, that Denny from the room. Here, let me see if I can pull it up. Uh, heavy, heavy metal fucking rules, man. I love that movie. Yeah. Yeah, without realizing it, I think, yeah, that's who I subconsciously started drawing. And he's supposed to be jacked, but he looks kind of doughy. I don't know. I do love that movie. All right. What's Magnus wearing? Oh, see, Magnus doesn't really do armor. He's got, uh, well, in the comic, there was a comic. He's got, so yeah, like a, like a breastplate and a shirt and stuff underneath. Yeah, I haven't drawn any big, yeah, I'm going to draw like some armor on this dude.
Do you think the line is between female murder, violence victims, and misogyny? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's blurry, right? Like, it depends on... There's a lot of there's a lot of factors, and I, it's it's hard to guess intent, and things like that. Um, yeah, I know that's maybe not a very satisfying answer, but like it's hard to say. That's not probably not the not probably not the cool answer you're hoping for, but it's hard to say. And I think it's a case by case thing. Um, yeah. Depend depends on the movie. Depends on the, the the tone and feel of it. some cool segmented shits so that he's armored up but cheeks <laughs> he's armored he's armored up but he's got you know some mobility too and yes den for sure looks like mr clean it is an accurate thingy accurate observation hmm. how do you draw armor how do perfectly cromulent thank you uh oh my god speaking of things that happened today um i had to kill fucking ginormous uh centipede that was in our bedroom and it's not like uh it was that type of centipede that you see in apartments so it's it's that it's that weird beigey kind of color and it's got the super duper um the super duper long legs and antennas so it's terrifying looking i don't think they bite or do anything bad they're just super fucking creepy looking and usually they're about that long and that's enough and again since they got these long tall legs and long tall antenna like being that big is big enough to be scary this motherfucker was on the ceiling he was no joke about that long i was scared that the shoe wouldn't kill him Ugh. but i got him i got him in one hit uh which was a huge fucking relief um but yeah, that was scary. And I, I felt a little bad because um, I don't think those things are like bad and they might even eat. I think it's like a spider situation where they eat other bugs. Um, but like it was fucking horrifying looking. I couldn't, I just couldn't handle, like I, I've always hated those things. Oh, here we go, Batman. Perfect. He's Batman, right? Just, just armor, please. Oh, see, they don't, uh, I guess real suits of armor didn't have abs <laughs> carved into them. That's more of a fantasy thing, I guess. Whoops. Well, and you know, on his character sheet, he doesn't wear full plate armor. He wears chain mail. Yes, like that. See, I don't picture, yeah, and that's real chain mail. That's real life chain mail. I don't picture him wearing that. Ooh la la. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to keep drawing. It's fantasy shit. It's all good. raid spray yeah i mean yeah that would have been nice in the moment 
But that's like the other than other than spiders on the balcony, which is outside, so I don't give a shit. Um, other than those guys, we haven't really had much of anything in the way of bugs, which is awesome. But um, yeah, let's see. So okay, man, hands are hard. I realize I keep making weird faces and stuff. Because <laughs> I'm trying to look at my own hand. Oh, I draw his. Okay. Something like that. Something like that. Sure. Big beefy hand. Yeah. I'm actually pretty happy with that. It's not great, but it's not super duper shitty. But you draw that weird butt on there. That helps define helps define everything. Yeah. Sure. Sure, why not? Make that a little less like a lumpy ham. Well, or not. I kinda like it as a lumpy ham. And give them some give them cool bracers. That way his biceps are still out. I feel like he'd want that. And that helps us kind of fudge that. Put big bolts on the side there. Oh yeah, on Udo, I meant to give him like Batman style arm spikes. I thought that'd be kind of neat and make him a little more lizardy. But I forgot, wah wah. What you gonna do? I'll just give a little more detail and definition. Cool. And, oh man, maybe I'll make them open on the bottom. And then you have some cool belty straps going across. Yeah, straps. Straps on straps on straps. You can even give little, little teeny tiny buckles. Fucking cool. And then you can give him those uh, bracer down here too. Oop. <laughs> Not like this. And yeah, I'm kind of. Huh. <laughs> I need to reference you again, hand. I did hear about the Godzilla constellation. I meant to post about that and didn't get a chance to. <laughs> you mean to tell me that tits don't show on female armor? Yeah. Either either World of Warcraft or history is lying to you. Maybe both. Who knows? Happy Pith Day, courtesy of Nassar. Uh Candy corn's okay in small doses or mixed with peanuts. Just as mom does that. She'll, around around Halloween time, 
you know, when she puts out candy dishes instead of it just being candy corn, she mixes it with peanuts. It makes it way better. On its own, meh, not that crazy about it. With peanuts, though, you got a pretty good snack. Pretty legit little snackaroni. All right, we got to draw this hand. I know how, I like, I know what position I want it to be in, and I'm just, I, I know it's going to be a bit of a pain in the wiener to draw. don't bend the way I need them to because yeah I want I want him to have a fist uh, his other fist kind of on his kind of an arms akimbo kind of thing but maybe I'll finish drawing this chest plate thing he's got going on here Hmm. Something like that. Mm. Yeah, just don't pay too much attention to whatever the fuck happened there. We'll rob, we'll rob Liefeld that one. Because uh, I'm not... Well, it, yeah, it would just be the one... Actually, yeah. You pretty much just see his pinky curled around in on itself. We were almost there. Like the, actually, it needs probably needs to be a little bigger. He's got big man hands. Big old man hands. And that looks weird too. Yeah, I don't know. This is this is hard. Oh, that's actually that's pretty close to what I was going for, actually. Cool beans. All right, and we'll give him lots of cool belts and shit because he's got armor on. And belts are cool. I uh, I definitely forgot to put on music tonight. I kind of feel like a ding dong about that. But what you gonna do? What you gonna do? With all that junk, all that junk inside your trunk. I'm gonna. <laughs> How about I just sing Black Eyed Peas to you? That counts. That counts as music, right? That's good enough. I was really not sure about this one at first, and now I feel like it's coming together pretty good. I'm pretty I'm pretty jazzed about how this one's going. Why is it that horror fans still misspell Freddy, Jason, and Michael's names? Uh that's a good question. I think cause proper nouns are hard. Like I still fuck up uh Voorhees from time to time. And actually all of them, because they're they're the first names are common. Um, but the, uh, the, and the last names aren't super uncommon, but they're, I don't know. They're not so common that I never mess them up. I don't know. 
not drawn a wiener. I mean, that's basically what's going on there, but it's not just a wiener. It's for his pants. Sort of a cod piece, which as a rough and tumble fightery kind of dude, I bet he would I bet he would maybe consider wearing a cod piece. Shit dog, why not? You gotta protect that stuff. And by virtue so by virtue of him being somebody who's done long marches and and, and uh, fought on the front lines in those orc wars he could not skip leg day because every day was leg day for those motherfuckers so yeah he got uh he got some big good big legs there we go yeah that's bs i kind of like how it turned out i could put a sword in his fist right there that actually uh, i'm probably gonna do actually is that his weapon of choice he's got yeah he's got a long sword He's also, and he picked up a hammer recently. The player, I remember the player being pretty stoked to get a big war hammer because they were fighting skeletons. Um, but the, I think the, I think the long sword is sort of more like his signature thing. Or at least it has been for the most part. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, those lines could be a lot straighter, but <laughs> they could be a lot straighter. I, I didn't say they would be. Shit. <laughs> Maybe they could be. I don't know. <laughs> lines is hard. Nope, that's very bad. Fine. Cool. I like this. I like how I like how BS turned out. He's probably prettier than that, face-wise. But I like I like the idea of giving him a weird beat-up face. Probably gonna I probably will revisit all these on. Uh, there we go. Oh, look at that! Just that little bit of definition. Where he kind of flushes out his whole head zone. But yeah, I probably will revisit these on on pencil and paper, and then scan them in and, and color them and stuff but i like these i like these as as rough starting points oh, i forgot the the cool studs on his studs on his bracers or on, on this bracer at least i just do quick ones it does add a lot of flair though just doing just putting some cool fucking bumps on there Dopeness. Oh, that one's too big. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Yeah, it looks like a character. It actually looks like somebody. It's pretty neat. Pretty neat. Uh, let's see. I could have... I Alright, so I've got time to start one more. I don't know if I'll be able to finish them, but I can start one. Um... And I save, but I'm going to save again. Um, so that leaves us with our, our our two rangers. So we've got our... Um, and since they're, since they're both elf or part elf rangers, I am in my head kind of, a, uh, kind of basing them on their players a little bit. Or, or do you guys, uh, I haven't, I haven't taken any requests. If you got something fresh and funky, you want to see me shittily draw, throw it out there. 
sword or a drink. I do, I do like the idea of him, yeah, sporting a big old drink. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so what I, what I want to do eventually is, um, get, uh, get, get decent line art of all these fools and, and make like a group, like a group photo kind of, cause they're, um, they're getting pretty close to wrapping up. I'm running, uh, pre-written adventures just cause I don't have the time to make up that much shit. Um, and so we started with the starter box and it's been really cool. And the starter box comes with like a, uh, an adventure that takes you from levels one to five. And it's very, it's just really good vanilla fantasy, like in a good way. They, they fought goblins and uh, they fought some skeletons and it's just like, mm, it's just choice, man. They, they've adventured around the wilderness and a old uh, crumbling castle and some dank caves and shit. And it's just, it's real tasty, but they're, they're getting to the end of that adventure and i've got the next adventure teed up for them uh but it's just been it's been really cool Ooh, rickio you've got a DD dragonborn character describe him i've got a DD dragonborn character too <laughs> he is very much based on the 2014 godzilla and he's a barbarian. Um, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I'm so glad that was in the... Here we go. Rikyo, this is your D&D &D character, right? <laughs> I'm a dumb idiot, but I apologize for nothing. It's Dick Butt, everybody. Let's see if I can draw Dick Butt. Just for shits and gigs. I laughed so so the it's fun it's it's funny ish on its own but it really comes to life in the comic that it originates from like that's where it's really funny uh but it is still pretty good on its own because it's a dick butt Uh, weirdly glad that I am pulling this off. There you have it. Another satisfied lover. We did it. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, I'm going to save it because I do, I like to post all the drawings and I, uh, I, I don't like that I didn't save Weed Barney. Just because I wanted to post it later, not because I'm like, oh, I was so proud of Weed Barney, but it was funny, and I like to I like to post the drawings afterwards, so people can see what they missed out on. Masterpiece, masterpiece. Uh, I have seen the the Barbarian Godzilla. That uh, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, Rikyo's OC is basically a black dragonborn, but imagine his personality being like an Aussie crocodile who became sentient and was born and raised at a bar at a rundown outbacks. That's fucking rules. Man, D&D &D is the best. Uh, he makes fun of everyone and only buys hemp, hemp, more hemp, 
a trilby and a scarf at some point and more hemp uh yeah no that that rules uh we got 10 minutes i'll see what i can i'll, I'll see if i can capture that i don't i uh, i don't know that i can but i like the challenge um Riccio, did you see oh f chubbs did you see chubbs the fucking huge gator that was spotted again recently i love him i love i i'm sure you did Let's pull up Chubbs because when you were describing your your D and D character, I did kind of think of Chubbs, the sixteen goddamn feet long alligator. Holy cannoli! I love this boy. I I did kind of picture the person version of this big motherfucker. So cool, and I'm I'll probably keep him over there just for inspiration. But yeah, Chubbs likes to roll up on a golf course and make everybody shit their pants, which is so awesome. Yep. And now I can't, uh, unfortunately, I, I cannot get that out of my head. So I'm sorry if this is way off base for your character. Uh, but this is kind of where my, my dumb, shitty brain is at. But the Aussie part does make me think of this that cool hat where one side is flipped up. So I feel like he'd be wearing that. Yeah, whoop, there it is. Oh, wait, no, that's the shopping link. Cheesy Louisey. Here's what I want. Yeah. A henschel, is that what it's called? Cool, I didn't know that. I just thought of it as the Australia hat. Put that button there. Kind of have it at a weirdly jaunty angle. I didn't really mean to do that, but there we are. Oh boy, this is getting out of this is getting out of hand. Oh dear. I don't know what's happening with that hat. I don't like it, though. I think I put it at too much of a weird angle. Actually, yeah, I blame that last line. Here we go. There we go. Maybe. I like that button there. There we go. We'll get that more brim. There we go. I feel a little better about that. Not the best, but a little more on base. Yeah, I imagine I'm being pretty, being pretty cheeky. <laughs> yeah and maybe uh oh yeah there we go give me some little teepers I do say, or I do say, I do have to say, when it comes to Dragonborns and D and D, my there isn't like a there isn't like a stock Dragonborn that I think of. Like I, it, my mind does kind of just go buck wild and imagine like a zillion different things, which is funny because when it comes to like fantasy characters, you've got like elves and dwarves, 
and because of Tolkien, you think of, or at least I, I generally think of a couple different archetypes, but I don't know, are, are Dragonborns from anything besides D&D? Like, is there any fantasy precedent for these dudes? Because I, I don't, I don't know that much about Tolkien, but I don't think there's anything like them in Tolkien. I think they are cool as shit, though. So there's always that. Um, I think they fucking rule. But yeah, there's like, I, I feel like there's not hard and fast rules for them like there are... Uh, the more classic fantasy races. And that's interesting to me. Like you're, you can, you got a lot more freedom with that. This is just an alligator in a cowboy hat. I'm realizing, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna, dress him up a little bit so he's a little less of just a straight up gator and a little more of a fantastical creature what do you think of that put some gorgo fins on this bitch got him on the other side too you can just barely see him give him that big weird iguana thingy again i don't know I don't know, I'm kind of just spitballing and shitballing. <laughs> what uh, what kind of stuff does he wear, Ricky? We got a couple minutes. I don't know, Chubbs might be named after the, the Happy Gilmore character. Some dark universe mockery. Boy, what uh... <laughs> what, what, what the... What did the fucking dark universe do now it's dead right it's super dead like it's gotta be it's gotta be dead i honestly like i think it would have been cool if it could have worked but they just i don't know they just shit the bed i'm not drawing the trilby hat I, I'm, I'm hung up on, you said Outback, and so I, I had to give him the, the fucking, uh, <laughs> the, the Australia hat, the one hat that they're allowed to wear in Australia. I almost forgot this cord, though. <laughs> He's just turning into a weird cowboy alligator. It's okay though. I will give him his scarves though. I was supposed to draw scarves for Max and and I did not. Right, because he's a he's a, a a reptile boy, so he's probably cold a lot. I get it. It's clever. Rikyo, have you been have you been playing um have you been playing some D and D? I forgot. You maybe have told me this before, but I'm dumb and my brain doesn't work. Um, so if you've told me a million times, uh, I apologize. I do have a bad brain. Drawing's fun. I'm glad to get to do it again. And I've I've been wanting to draw I've been wanting to draw my D and D characters for a while. So that's been thanks for indulging uh and and watching me geek out about characters you've never met before. I kinda like the idea of giving them Kind of the cool, like, Buck Rogers flap shirt. I like the flap shirts. 
Uh, I liked I liked Luke Skywalker's and Return of the Jedi. I like the the Starfleet uniforms in the old movies after the first one from Wrath of Khan on. They had these really cool things. Yeah, I don't know. Again, probably not what your character is actually like, but I'm having some fun. Yeah, he kind of turned out kind of kind of cool. Or is I, I'm I'm pretty happy with his face. I think I'm slowly turning him into like a weird gunslinger. <laughs> I know what we can do. Oh, I know what we can do. Nee, 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 nee. <laughs> this is way too big. Let's 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 get that down to a manageable size. Oh, there's gotta be a faster way to do this. There we go. Oh, nope, they don't get any smaller. Perfect. Get out of here. All right, here's what I actually am going to do. Oops. Oh, I picked, I, I, there's a little button on here that I accidentally bump a lot. I think that's what happens. There, he's saying happy birthday to you. Yay. All right. What's his name? I'm going to save him. Or my weird version of him. Just saw Dracula Untold is on tomorrow night and thought I could use some laughs. Yeah, man. Well, and technically... Oh God, technically Dracula Untold wasn't part of it. Man, they fucked up. I hate... I don't know. I don't know. It, are, are the characters, are the Universal Monsters as characters, are they too old to reboot? Are they like the Lone Ranger where nobody cares? I just wonder. I, It's it's interesting. Could that have worked? I like to think it could have. I love those characters. I don't know. But they, they sure did just shit the bed as hard as they could. <laughs> just constantly. He does kind of look like an alligator detective. I like him. I haven't played since last semester. His name is Mark Truman. Fucking awesome. Good. I'm going to change it to a T. Or to a C, I mean. <laughs> yep, Mark Truman. I don't know. I, I don't know why I have to change everything. I'm like I'm like the third screenwriter that you bring in. She's like, nah, change everything. Change all the stuff that everybody liked. Alright, that's it. That's it, we doodled. D and D oodled. Um, yeah. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I fucking love doing this. Um, I don't know what we'll do next week. I might. I I, I do like the idea of doodling some more, but um, I also want to play more Into the Breach because I've un I've unlocked a bunch of stuff. I've been playing that off stream. Um. But yeah, who knows? I don't know. I do like I do like doodling. I think maybe if I do doodle next week, it might be just all request doodles because I think so far that has been the funniest and most fun. Um, yeah, I liked I liked how chaotic that first one was, but this was still fun. I've been I've been wanting to sketch these characters for a while, so I liked doing that. Like, who wanted to see Dracula not be Dracula? Prequels, man. I don't fucking get the prequel obsession. Mummy movie that focuses on Tom Cruise and doesn't have a standard mummy. Yeah. Yep. 
you could make i would love to see ricky and i have talked about this i would i would love to see like a terrifying mummy movie you just trap a bunch of people in a pyramid you make the pyramid scary you make the mummy pulling the strings in the pyramid they're magic you know you make you make the mummy like an evil wizard or something i don't know i thought i thought it'd be cool if you had a mummy movie that was like yeah, it made you feel claustrophobic, and and the the pyramid. It's a it's an Egyptian themed haunted house. Like, just fucking roll with it. Yeah, maze horror movie, but with a mummy. Yeah, it just it's like right there. It's sitting right there. I don't know. And then well, and then Guillermo del Toro had the gall to make a a weird and beautiful, uh, unlicensed creature from the Black Lagoon like romance. So it's like. There goes the wind out of your sails, Universal, you dinguses. Their Wolfman, I guess, was really bad. That one that came out in, like, what was that, 2014? I heard that was awful. It just, it's like, man, do these characters right. Please, you fox. Oh, well. Oh, well. It's dead now. Well, what's funny, what's funny about those two is that, like, they're all public domain or versions of them are like the wolf man i don't think is public domain but like werewolf is so somebody else i don't know somebody else should just keep swooping in and doing this shit because shape of water was great it wasn't a traditional creature from the black lagoon movie by any stretch but it was like a good movie with that type of character so i'm fine with it um yeah yeah i don't know I like that. I like that a cre a Gilman movie got made. Cause like everybody, everybody's obsessed with with vampires and werewolves, and like I get it. I love both of those too. But we've had like a million underworld movies, and none of the other monsters get any love. Or when they do, it's a big fucking failure. Like like the like the Tom Cruise mummy or the or the recent Wolfman. It made Rick Baker retire. See that. Right, and that's such a bummer. Yeah. But yeah, sh I'm, but Shape of Water was great. Maybe, hopefully, more people that aren't universal because they don't get it. Hopefully, more more people can give those characters the treatment they deserve. I'm actually, like... I, j I don't, I don't want to be, like, dumping on shit. Like, that's, I don't love to do that. But, uh, man, I'm glad their Bride of Frankenstein movie didn't get made. Because Bride of Frankenstein fucking rules. It's a perfect movie. And, uh, really glad they didn't make some shitty version of, of that. That was a relief. Uh, yeah. Alright. That's it. That's it. I'm getting out of here. Uh, Ricky O'Ted, thank you for stopping in. Uh, anybody else out there, thank you for watching also. Um... Uh, if there's anybody out there and uh, watching that hasn't yet, please give us a follow on here. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. All that shit helps. It's a really big deal. Um, you can click the Discord link down below to just yak with us. We have a pretty good time. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and Mastodon and all kinds of shit. Post updates about when we're streaming and what we're streaming. Uh, and also just video game and other stuff too. It's pretty fun uh yeah i think i think that's it i think we're done um yeah yeah i'll catch you on the next one guys catch you on the old flip and dip hope you have a super apartment weekend and just keep in mind you're all perfect and i love you forever goodbye goodbye